Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best 10 modifications or what accessories or extras you can add to your Panigale. Now some of them are going to be 1199 specific, so that's the bike that I've got and they're the ones, they're the ones that I've found that work best. But uh, most of these will work for any of the Panigale range and also for some of the bikes as well. So in no particular order, from 1 to 10, the first thing on my list is definitely a Panigale and I think Ducati, especially where the uh, fly-by-wire throttle is used and some other bikes as well. I know uh, some Triumphs can benefit from this as well. But the first thing about on the list of the 10 best modifications for the Panigale here are the throttle spaces. Now these could be bought, I think, on the website, something similar to uh, throttlespaces.com. I'll put it on the uh, on the bottom of the screen. And they're essentially two little black pieces of plastic, little red pieces of plastic uh, you put in your inside the throttle on two tabs and it just removes the slop or the play from the throttle so it feels like it's a lot more direct when you're using the throttle and it doesn't turn ever so slightly with nothing happening I think cost, they are made in the uh, United States so the cost to the UK if you said £30 all in you'd be about right I know there are discounts available through uh, a few other YouTubers and. Uh, what not so you might be able to get them a little less but if you if you budget it for 30 pounds uh, i know it seems a little expensive two bits of plastic but 30 pounds the uh the transformation is really worth it so definitely recommend the throttle spacer kit so number two on the list of the best modifications for the ducati panigale now this is more specific to the 1199 and the 899 uh, one thing that i found especially if there's any sort of dampness or is a little chilly is the uh, the pegs are actually really really smooth they did change them for the 1299 and the 959 but the standard pegs on the 1199 and 899 are just extremely slippy and if you're just filling around like we are today that it's not really an issue but as soon as you start moving your foot placement especially when you're up on your toes and if you're thinking of any sort of track work then you really need to get rid of those standard pegs you can either replace them with something like the Oberon pegs, which I did get originally, uh, and well, world, world apart. Totally different and so, you know, a massive improvement from the OAM pegs. So I definitely would recommend them. Uh, although what I do have on the bike now are some CNC racing uh, rear sets. Uh, you don't need to go to that expense. They can be quite expensive and full. You know, full rear sets but the overall pegs probably around 45 pounds now so that's number two on my list so to number three on my list for the best modifications for the Ducati Panigale now this one also suited to the 1199 and to a certain extent the 1299 I haven't ridden the smaller bikes but I'm told they're a little bit smoother but the low speed manners, especially the 1199, it's a bit better with the 1299, but the low speed manners of the 1199 leave a le little to be desired. Um, there's a few things that you can do. You can just simply get an up map from Ducati, although for the same money, what I'd recommend is getting a, a proper remap uh, somewhere like BSD or or one of the uh, other Ducati tuning places that are around. Now again, it's not the cheapest of uh, ways around it. The other option is to uh, get the end cans, for example the term end cans, or you can get a full system. You can get a crop of itch and, and all others, but uh, depending on what you get, you may or may not need the remap anyway as a result. I got the full system from Ducati, so that, and that came with uh, 
a remap. Uh, sorry, not a remap, it came with the up map. Uh, and I had it downloaded pre and post. And not only did it uh, improve the low speed running just around town, it's been so much easier. Where I had to be in first gear before, I could be in second and, and quite comfortable, uh, and so on. It also increased the mid range, so between four and 6,000 RPM, there was actually a 20% increase in both power and torque. So it's just a nicer bike to ride on the road at, at normal speeds. You know, you don't go everywhere at uh, maximum revs. If you did, you're either going to die or to get in some trouble. Also, you might want to get a, something like a sprint filter as well while you're at it at the same time. You know, if you're improving the breathing of the bike, then then it's a given that to really uh, go for something like an aftermarket filter like the sprint. So, to number four on my list the modifications uh, or accessories for the Panigale. The next one is sort of a group of modifications, if you like, and pretty much can be. Uh, would be recommended on that A bike, especially one uh, of some value that you don't want to get hurt. And that's the protection. So we're talking things like crash bumps and sliders and all that sort of business. So what I've got on this bike, I've got the RNG crash bump kit, which is quite complicated. It takes about four or five hours to fit, uh, and that's time you won't get back. Um, because there's, there's no frame as such, it's just got the front frame which is attached to the front of the engine. Because there's no frame on the Panigale, it actually has to attach to the engine. So you have to put in the bracketry to allow it to actually fit. Which uh, is a bit of a faff. Like you say, all the instructions are decent and you can, you can do it. If you just, if you just know one end of a, of a spanner from the other, then you can do it yourself but just be prepared to set aside some time for it. Like I said, it took me four or five hours in the garage on the floor, so make sure you've got a couple of, uh, couple of brews on the go. Uh, the other things, in terms of protection, we've got the front axle sliders uh, from RNG as well. I've got a generator cover from RNG and I've got the Ducati Performance uh, clutch cover or clutch uh, engine cover protector you know we're talking sort of laying the bike down not talking a full on full on smash where these are coming useful it's just laying the bike down uh, low side and that sort of thing it might just protect, uh, protect the forks protect the engine casings which are clearly more expensive and the things inside are going to get damaged and Clean, more expensive to replace. The other thing that uh, comes under this heading of protection are the uh, RNG lock stop uh, savers. Now the on the Panigale, I don't believe they changed them uh, for the 12.9 or any of the models. I think they're all the same. The um, the lock stop uh, bolts or adjusters uh, are on the bottom yoke and. While they clearly stop, you know, they clearly uh, allow you to change the, the position of the, the full lock on the bike and things like that. If you put any sort of pressure on them, they're quite weak and they will snap. So in an accident, or even a low speed one, um, I mean I broke mine on the track, hitting a barrier at about 40 miles an hour. Uh, so not a massive impact, uh, but they snap clean off, both of them. So uh, yeah, the lock stop savers can actually stop that happening and act as the, the steering lock pins as it were. So I'd definitely recommend them. They're, I mean they're about 15, 20 pounds so I'd get them uh, anyway. Would recommend them, recommend them enough to any Panigale owner. So number five on my list of the best modifications for a Panigale. Uh, this one's quite straightforward, it's the Ducati Performance Comfort Seat. Now while the Panigale is actually quite a comfortable bike, believe it or not, very different to uh, Ducati Super Sports bikes of old. Uh, I'm six foot, uh, I have a friend uh, that's well over six foot, six foot two, maybe six foot four, and uh, you know, he finds it uh, quite comfortable 
it's not a big one, it is a comfortable bike, it's just where the race is between the, the bars and the pegs and the seat, but um, it's fine with the standard seat, it's just that little bit thin and the comfort seat makes a little bit of difference or enough for me to recommend it. So number six on my list the recommended modifications for the Panigale and this will apply to some other models as well but definitely the Panigale this is one that will save uh, save some serious expense our Evotech radiator guard you've got upper and lower radiator guards that you can get for the Panigale I can't remember how much uh, I paid for these they might have bought them second hand actually off one of the uh, Ducati forums uh, that are around which is a good place to pick up uh, pick up parts bits and bobs to be fair but yeah they come in black and they uh, I think they actually improves the look rather than having the, the silvery grey behind the front wheel it's, it's all black and they actually look quite good so a bit of an aesthetic modification as well as one that's quite handy just having a stone or something like that through the rating it's quite a big service area now, I know it's going to get past the, the wheel etc but uh, if it does it could be quite expensive so wholeheartedly recommend Eurotech radiator guards for your Panigale and some other bikes so coming in at number seven on my list of the best modifications for Ducati Panigale a bit like the pegs they're so rubbish that really I'd recommend changing them and that's the standard mirrors over time they become loose and they start to wobble but even when they're fixed tightly to look in them especially at motorway speeds like this where you actually need them they uh, they wobble around like crazy so uh, pretty much useless it's not that you can't actually see behind you with the normal mirrors you can you can see over your shoulder quite well uh, it's sort of half half of the mirror you can use once they start loosening um, you don't really have a choice of replacing them and I think £180 from Ducati what I did was went to bar end mirrors and these bar end mirrors have been uh, absolutely fantastic these are the CRG Arrow bar end mirrors but when you go to your bar end mirrors you have the issue that uh, the indicators were previously in the main mirrors so you have to put something uh, in place of the original mirrors in order to do the, uh, be the indicator so I believe mine are NRC see so if you can see that just pop that on there so I have the NRC flush indicators they're a bit fiddly to fit but uh, again if you're relatively patient and semi-competent with spanners patience is probably the, the biggest thing that you need when fitting them then they're not too bad to fit at all to number eight of the best modifications for a Panigale this one's a little bit general it suits most bikes it definitely suits the Panigale and that's a Ducati performance screen or uh, something else which is sort of your double bubble style just slightly uh, slightly higher screen but as it's quite a small bike uh, especially for someone my sort of size at six foot it really does help to uh, direct that wind blast a little bit higher this moves us quickly on to number nine one of the best modifications for your Panigale and again it's definitely an any bike situation but works so well on the Panigale considering the the nature of the uh, the rear of the Panigale how sculpted it is and the design but the, the standard tail tie it has with most bikes nowadays is an absolute monstrosity it has to get it over the back wheel uh, as that's how they've got to be sold uh, it's slightly ridiculous that uh, the first day after getting it on the road you can uh, you can stick what you like on it but definitely recommend the tail tidy the uh, Panigale series of bikes really tightens it up you can, uh, you can get a massive number of different designs the sort of RNG uh, Evotech uh, the one that I went with originally was a Brute Tail Tidy not the uh, was it Aftershave back in the day? anyone remembers? anyone above 30 probably remember Brute body lotion and Aftershave that sort of thing but no 
B R U D D T. I'll uh, I'll put it up uh, on the screen. That was the original one I got. Uh, it, I thought it would uh, actually suit the bike really nicely. Looked well, did the job, and that's what I got. Tail tardy, battery improvement for any bike, but particularly the uh, Panigale. So on to the last recommended modification for the Panigale. And this is definitely an all bike thing. Well, definitely on the Panigale, even on the S with the adaptive posh suspension, is I'll be looking at getting it set up properly for you. 150, 200 quid or so, get it set up for you. Uh, massive difference from standard. Couldn't recommend it enough. Get the, uh, the sag and all that business set up for you. Maybe get a different spring, depending on your weight. yeah definitely recommend it so that's the 10 best modifications that you can make to your Panigale and a few other bikes as well I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did like it of course check out the links to our social media down below and uh, we welcome you to the next video thanks for watching take care Ta -da.